Christian couple sues over trans child wearing a dress at school. So this story is so absurd. And I'll basically summarize it initially by saying these, <laughs> some Christians were so butthurt about someone else's, someone else's, someone else's child wearing a dress at school. They're oh, suing it's not even the government. It's not it's even not their even... child. Someone else's oh, wow. child, years <laughs> later, years later, they're suing the government Wait. over it. Wait, I was I wasn't sure which which side I'm gonna get. I thought they made their child against their put these dresses on against their wishes. This well, is let, not even I'll, their let child. Me, let okay. me read the summary. Right. Just a second. Wow, wow, oh my god, they're taking the butt hurt to a whole new level. But go on. A Christian couple from the Isle of Wight in the British Isles plans to sue the government over the transgender guidelines implemented by the school previously attended by their children. In 2016, the couple stopped sending their older son to the Church of England's school because one of his classmates came out as a trans girl. The couple said that they've de they decided to remove him from school and homeschool him because their son was confused, quote, to the point of being unwell and stressed. <laughs> In 2017, the uh, Rose, that's the name of the couple, pulled out their second child from the Church of England primary school when their then six-year-old boy came home from school, quote, confused as to why a boy was now a girl. Nigel and Sally Rowe believe that the guidance provided by the Department of Education should be replaced by directions that protect children from, quote, partisan materials that lead them down a road of irreversible harm. The couple told the Times that they believe that children should be discouraged from transgenderism. Wait, so they're saying that their child was, correct me if I'm wrong, was unwell and stressed because of seeing another child in, in a dress? He was confused as to the point of being unwell and stressed, yes. Which was so absurd to me. Okay, if that is true, you are a failure as a parent. If that is what stresses out your child, like this is not the school problem. This is not the government problem. This is a you problem. Like, what kind of what are you doing to your children? This is actually seems like, yeah, this is the, if you're because here's the thing, most children do not stress out over things like this and they don't become unwell because of things like this if they're not exaggerating which i think they might be if they're not exaggerating your children must have been exposed to a very heavy level of brainwashing and conditioning christian conditioning for this to make them unwell if anybody if anybody needs to be complaining to the government is people you know child protective services or where how did you manage to how did you manage to brainwash your child to the degree that just seeing somebody in a dress makes them physically unwell that that seems like the go you should the government should get involved in protecting your children not other people what's your goddamn business and what other people oh, like how how dare do these people think it's their business to say what other children should be wearing like the audacity to complain to the government for why other parents are putting, telling what their children get to wear. Like, how full of these people are they? Like they and they claim that other people are forcing their values on them. Where they, where, where this is it, where they think that they're in a position to make this a legal issue. Do they not see when they cry for freedom, they're actually saying they're, they're begging for the freedom to impose their values on other. This is the best case to show what for why when many Christians, when they say we, you're attacking us, you're taking our freedom away, what they actually mean is you're taking our freedom away to force our values on you and on your children. That's the freedom they want. They want the, the freedom 
to make us submit to their way of life. That's the freedom that these people want. Yeah, so they are now being backed by the Christian Legal Center. And they are, they specifically object to the local authorities' adoption of the Cornwall School's transgender guidance, which aims to give inclusive advice to teachers and governors on trans issues and promote, quote, inclusion for all within education by improving services for trans children and students and empower supporters of trans students. The guidelines emphasize that it is, quote, extremely important as a matter of fairness, respect, and inclusion to ensure that the correct name, gender, and pronouns are used uniformly to address trans people and that trans students should, quote, be able to wear the uniform of their true gender. It also recommends that gender-neutral toilets should be made available. So they are trying, the reason why they're suing, they're not even like suing the specific schools, they're suing the government over this like guideline. Um, They are seeking a judicial review, claiming that there has been a failure by ministers to challenge the guidance because the Department of Education refused to intervene, like in their case. I want to highlight once again that this happened four years ago. This happened four years ago. And instead of trying to educate their child, they pulled them from school altogether. Like either they, they, they could educate their children in like at least two ways. They could say, okay, like here, there, there are, you know, you, you could do it in a way that is accurate and loving and compassionate towards the transgender community. Or you could even educate them to say, hey, and this is kind of how I grew up. Like, this is something that people do. You will see this. We don't believe in this. We think it's wrong, but this is something that people do. It's out there in the world. You should know about it. And like, this is a thing but we don't like it, but just move on. You know, like they didn't even do that. They're like, no, this cannot be in the environment of either of my children. It's crazy. Okay. Let me just make this very clear. Okay. This excuse that my kids are confused. It's bull crap. It's absolute bull crap. Okay. Kid, you tell kids that there's a giant fat man comes down through the chimney and brings you gifts every once every year to all the children in the world and they're like okay i get I, I guess sure i believe that they're stupid they're idiots okay they believe that and they don't seem confused they're not like how how is that possible flying reindeers they don't question it they're just like okay i guess so if you if you tell me that i'm going to believe it okay you tell kids a talking snake convinced a woman to eat an apple and they're like okay i guess sure parents I, that could happen. Why not? They believe it. They're idiots. They're kids. Okay. They're not confused. They don't seem confused when you tell them stuff like that, but they, they draw a line at this, at this, at like, so somebody, a kid wearing a dress. They're like, Oh my God, no way. That is, you are going too far, too far. I tell you, you're a fat man flying on rain years and bringing down gifts on the chimney. I accepted that talking snakes and women eating an apple and blah, 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 because of, you know, and being cursed forever, the human race being cursed for, I, I, that, that made sense. But this kid wearing a dress, no, no, this is, I am unwell, mom, mom, save me. This is too much. Okay. No. Okay. Also their argument about this being unnatural and therefore confusing you are the ones who tell your kids that there's talking donkeys and snakes okay you're unnatural unnatural my ass okay what are you talking about that is not unnatural anyways what prophet jonah being swallowed by a goddamn fish and just being able to live there for a little i don't know how long the whole earth that is being not, flooded the splitting no, of the yeah. sea that is not to mention yeah. you know a guy dying and coming back to life after three days minor minor tenant of the faith is <laughs> well, a guy coming back to life and ascending well, to heaven 
Like, oh, why are your kids not confused by that? By the way, in reality, kids are not actually the kids who haven't been brainwashed by their parents that about this is being unnatural and that kind of bullcrap. The kids that haven't gone through religious brainwashing, they are not confused. Okay, it's only adults who are confused because they're not used to these things. Okay, they see things that they haven't been exposed to, and they could confuse. Kids are at their brain is at the process of learning what is normal and what is not. So they are completely. It's easy for them to accept these things because they're they're learning what is normal and what is not what isn't. Okay, in fact, this is why we need to expose kids to these things because they it's. It's harder for them to become homophobic or transphobic because they've been exposed to these things. They've seen that this is part of society, so they, it's, it's harder for them to all of a sudden have a negative reaction towards it. Okay, they're learning. They're learning that these things exist, and that's a good thing. But again, the reason if you tell kids, if you know that, oh look, sometimes you know there's a prince and princess falling in love. But sometimes two princesses fall in love, or sometimes two princes fall in love, right, with each other. They have no issue with that. They have no issue with that. It's the parents who have an issue with that because this is foreign to them and they're not used to this. This is why you. This is the whole argument for why you then have stories with, uh, that kids read about two princes falling in love, because it's going to be impossible for them to turn homophobic because they can't see. They're unlike their. Parents, they're not confused by it anymore because they know that that's a real thing. So this is um, what is it called when you see other something in other people um, because you're feeling it yourself. Projecting, right? Mm -hmm. This is this is the parents being confused, and instead of saying we're confused and we don't like it, they're using they're weaponizing their children. You're using your children. And saying my kid doesn't like it, but it's you. It's That's you who don't like it. It's you. You're using your own kids as a weapon. Amazing. Congratulations. You're a horrible parent. <laughs> it was so ridiculous. I was like reading through this. I'm like, wait, you're telling me they're suing over someone else's kid wearing a dress? <laughs> like when you frame it that way, you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> wait, all right, can we cut anything in the live chat? So, really oh, yeah. quickly, before we move on, to yeah, the actually, next another thing, news. this is another thing we should highlight in the live chat is that the kids being scared of hell that is, that is, you know, introducing introducing your kids to trans people that is not an issue introducing your kids to the concept of hell that is abuse that is wrong you have no, you're in no position to tell us that we're abusing children by showing them that there are trans kids where you, when you are using the fear of eternal torture you are introducing children to the fear of it burning burning by fire you're you're that's what you're teaching kids and you accuse us of abusing and making children unwell because we tell them not everybody that you thought is a girl is a girl wow oh my god save the kids but go on. hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.